X-Men 97 was announced and I was thrilled. The X-Men cartoon from the 90s was my first exposure to X-Men that had spawned my lifelong love of the stories and characters. But more than that, the core of the X-Men is that they're always the outsiders. People fear what they don't understand and will just simply condemn you for how you were born. But in the same breath that there's others that will embrace and love you. X-Men is about tackling those intolerances, injustices, and that it's okay to be different. I honestly feel X-Men personally gave me the building blocks of acceptance. Now before watching it, I decided to go back to the very beginning and relive those amazing memories by binging the original show. The show starts with that rocking intro that felt like a crime to skip. And stories taken straight from the comics, it still has the best adaptation of Phoenix and Dark Phoenix Saga. The characters, voiced by incredible talents, with the relatable 90s teen Jubilee being the main focus, and slowly introducing us to each character and their powers, and the villains, Magneto, Mr. Sinister, and Apocalypse, to name a few. I'd never seen the final season before though, and oof, that was tough to get through. Noticeably worse animation, limited time with each character, and so many filler episodes. I didn't need a fantasy episode revolving around Jubilee, okay? But each voice actor continued to be amazing with their roles and kept it watchable. Yet I can admit the last season became worth it with Professor X's speech to his X-Men about how he felt about each one individually. Fantastic. So the new series had high standards to live up to. Whoa. But then the series did something amazing. In only 10 episodes, it showed that core of what X-Men stories were about, and that intolerance towards people different than you is bad. Now I'll do my best to talk about the show without spoilers, because I was exposed to so many as I binged the original series, and that was annoying. They bring back a lot of the original cast, Beast, George Buzza, who I will always remember from Maniac Mansion, Wolverine, Cal Dawn, Storm, Allison Seeley Smith, Rogue, Lenore Zan, and Adrian Howe as Nightcrawler. They all reprised their roles. And while some main characters like Jubilee, Jean Grey, Cyclops, Gambit, and Morph were voiced by new actors, they all pulled out amazing performances. I honestly could do a breakdown of each voice actor and their works, but I'd be here forever. The series starts strong and does things like you wouldn't expect, like one character losing their powers and struggling with that, Rogue's revenge that's absolutely heartbreaking and justified, and then introducing new characters like Roberto da Costa, Sunspot, as our new outsider looking in. And while it's still Jubilee-centric, it also allowed for a lot of characters to shine. And then the stories, so many adapted straight from comic books. Madeline Pryor, Genosha, and Metal Bones. If you know, you know. The overall feel went from Saturday morning cartoon to something so rich and deep that every other animated Marvel series seems bland in comparison. If this series is just a glimpse of what we're going to be getting from Marvel Studios' X-Men going forward, they already have my money. And I have to say it, Magneto was right. 